Yo, so hold on. I had, I gotta ask about the 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 Michael Jackson. Come series. on, man. You know Come on, like, bro. What was that experience like? Like, man. Just get into it, man. I don't even know that. Did you meet Bubbles? No, I didn't meet Real Bubbles. Real talk. <laughs> Damn, you didn't meet Bubbles. That's crazy. But you know what, though? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you know, Michael Jackson, the Jackson family, Suzanne the Pass. I wouldn't be where I'm at right now had it not been for them giving a kid from Chicago an opportunity like that. I had done feature films prior to uh, the Jacksons and American Dream. I worked on The Long Walk Home with Whoopi Goldberg. I had done the series Brewster Place with Oprah. You know, great, great projects, mm -hmm. but they hadn't necessarily crossed over a particular threshold that allowed me to be exposed and to be seen and for people to kind of uh, get to know my right. level of talent. But the Jackson's miniseries did that for me. That was a sit around the TV. Boy, oh, it was it was event. a whole. It was the whole was hood whole was thing. outside, yeah. like what? waiting on this shit every night. It was like yeah. how many nights it came on in the world? Like four nights in a uh, row. Of... I think it was two. I think it was two nights. But I remember it being a thing because I was like twelve or thirteen at the time when it finally premiered, and I remember my whole block, my whole neighborhood, like niggas went inside. Yeah, so look at the work that we that did. Shit. We had been hooping, playing outside, and they was like, "Hey, dog, you finna come home, Joe?" Yeah, Joe. And they, and, they, and they went in the house, and and you know, honestly, there's no other experience like that. I can't even describe it. To 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 get the opportunity to play the greatest, who I personally feel is the greatest entertainer of all. Real talk. Time. Uh, to be personally handpicked by him, um, for him to be able to recognize my talent, for the Jackson family to be able to recognize my talent and give me the green light to do my thing. Man, I can't say enough good things about them, man. Like, I mean, look, they put me on. You know what I'm saying? So, so when it comes to the Jackson family, I mean, shit, I, I don't have anything with positive things to say about them. Yeah. And I thank them so much, you know, for everything that they did for me because there were a lot of things that I learned about myself professionally, um, even as far as raising the bar as it, as it related to my set etiquette learning how to interact with other actors, my work ethic being raised to another level. Um, I attribute all of that to my experience in being in the Jacksons miniseries. Because we essentially worked seven days a week. Now, now mind you, the production, <laughs> the production yeah, yeah, company, right. yeah, the production company didn't, didn't make us work seven days a week. I think we worked five days you know, out of the week, but the whole cast was so committed to making sure that we were able to step up to the plate mm. and um, do honor to the Jackson family legacy to where we would get together on the weekends and rehearse. Mm. Shout out to Bumper Robinson. Bumper would be the main person bringing all of us together, the kids. He played saying, Jackie, right? He, he played Jackie. He was on a different world. That's the, he was on a different world. Was dating, uh, Bumper, uh, Bumper's done a, a lot of great stuff. Damn, but Bumper, right? Bumper would bring us together. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Uh, he just has the randomest yeah, facts. He said he, he was on what? He's on a different. He was on a different world. He, he was, was dating Jada Pinkett on that. That's right. That's right. 